Okay, we on we are on the air with Joe Golner. Uh, we want to do our target point memo, not our talking points, our target point memo. Our target point memo for the day is um, as you know this past week we the Obama regime vetoed the the Keystone Pipeline, number one. Number two, um, now they want to hire ISIS, uh, you know, t t t terrorist cells to actually work for the federal government. That's number two issue. Uh, number three issue is CPAP. We want to do um, a, a, um, a, a uh, a recap of what's what, what's been said, what's going on, what Ted Cruz said, what the candidate said, what Mia Love said. We're going to recap that too as well, and we're also going to do a one thing we're going to touch on. Morris Lerner this past week, she got for attacking the, the Tea Party, she got a hundred and thirty thousand dollar pay increase for attacking conservative groups like Tea Party groups. Uh, that's what happened there. Uh, Joe Goner, what's your intake of all this? Go ahead. Uh, okay, a couple things. One, uh, well, the House the sick this evening defeated a bill to defund, to fund uh, the Homeland Security, so Homeland Security is not going to get funded. That's breaking news, uh, which means that the House wanted to make sure that Obama's illegal activities will not get funded. Uh, so it looks like if, uh, at midnight tonight, you'll see a partial close down of Homeland Security. But uh, I heard that other agencies like Pinkerton Group and others will volunteer their services for the team to secure the, uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, the airports and stuff, and also I heard that the uh, the men and other militia groups are going to be securing the borders and doing their job for homeland security, which they don't do anyway. Right now, um, as far as uh, Keystone, uh, this they got sixty. They have sixty. Uh, 63 votes so far that will uh, override the veto. We need four more. You need 67 votes to override Obama's veto on uh, the Keystone. It looks like we may get that in the next couple of weeks. So we're closing in on that. Because mm -hmm. uh, jobs are more important than uh, Obama's destruction. Right. Okay. Now, uh, as far as, uh, as far as uh, uh, the... Um, uh, if people in the White House, stuff like that, uh, there is a number of uh, Muslim Brotherhood uh, people in the uh, White House that's controlling Obama. That's why he refuses to say what the enemy is. And until you do that, you're not going to win. And the, the threats are coming home. They, uh, the uh, Texas uh, people in Texas, the security in there, that state have already caught a number of Islamic fundamentalists that are coming through and sent them back and they're arresting some. And of course, they had three people in the Bronx, two in the Bronx, one in Jacksonville that they caught trying to go to, uh, to Syria, free in Turkey. Uh, they caught, they arrested them uh, in New York and in Jacksonville. And today, uh, I think it was four, seven or eight uh, Canadians were arrested trying to attempt to go to ISIS, too. So you got terrorist cells all over the place. They're here. Right. So, you know, and uh, Clapper told uh, the truth when he said that uh, we uh, did the 2014 was the worst ever in, in the terror attacks. More people were killed, the more attacks were done, the more terror killed, people were killed in the name of Allah since in 2014 than ever before in this country and, and around the world. And Clapper said that uh, made uh, John Kerry look like he's a delusional person. Uh, they, you know, you, you can't do a fantasy story to try and keep Americans safe. You have to tell the truth and get people prepared in case of uh, you know terror attacks. They already plan on terror attacks like the wall or the, or the wall of America's, or maybe even down here in the, in the second largest wall of the country in Sawgrass Mills. That should be very very secure. Uh, these people, so you got to watch where you go these days. Yeah. You know, yeah. And uh, so far that's. Pretty much it on that end. Now, as far as CPAC, uh, you got a number of people. I know Sean Hannity interviewed uh, Jeff Bush today, which we'll see tonight on Hannity. Um, the others out there. But so far, I think the best person out there is Ted Cruz and Scott Walker. They did a great job. Me and Love did good. Uh, Sarah Palin 
uh, you know, did the same thing. Basically, called uh, the, the the Obama regime of the uh, the Chamberlains of the 21st century. Uh, you know, because uh, you got to remember that uh, Islam was uh, a big supporter and ally of uh, Nazis, and they're doing the same thing in the same way. And you got to understand that, and uh, you do, then you know how to defeat them. But we cannot make the same mistakes that Chamberlain and other European countries did. It took, basically, uh, it, it took the United States getting in to save the world in World War II. Mm-hmm. Yep. And uh, we can't wait to that long. We have to be there proactive, not reactive. And uh, if we don't do something soon, they're going to take over Europe and radical Islam and Islamic extremists because they're hanging in that direction. They're only a couple hundred miles away from Italy. So. Yep. Then you got to worry about Russia and Putin and one of Russian opposition uh, leaders was shot assassinated today in, in Moscow. So, uh, you got, got problems there, too. Uh, how come I've... Um, the only thing I want to touch on, how...